guys, welcome to our blog. Um, today we are at the Cleveland Public <laughs> Library. For, at, so what, World of Puppets? World of Puppets. Um, yeah, so there's just, uh, it's kind of cool, we're in it right now. There's just a whole bunch of like giant puppets from like different shows and uh, it looks like all the like different cultures and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I guess there's also some other exhibits going on so we'll kind of go around and look at that as well, so. The entryway here. Do we? There's nothing really saying what these are from, is there? The. On this wall here. Oh, does it say? Uh, this thing's really cool. It's another land. I'm assuming it's that. Yeah. This one's kind of cool. It's almost like what someone kind of like. Oh, geez, they like get up in there. Buffalo. Yeah. You can kind of see that. You can kind of like see through there. That's These are really all cool. from Parade the Circle. It's a um, festival that they have down by like the art museum and stuff like that. Huh. Jazz is kind of the, the entryway here. And here we have Oscar the Grinch. He loves trash. He's kind of a cool little display right here. Can't know it. Focusing. There's different like art on the wall as well. Oh, there's like, huh? That's cool. The ceiling of this place is actually really neat as well. It's actually uh, pretty cool. And they have the Audrey Chu from the Little Shop of Horrors. Handheld one over here. And these are from Allegra's Window. I am not familiar with this. Are you familiar with that? Oh. Uh, yeah, it was on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Okay. Young viewers, her name and those of her friends and family and underscore the importance of music. Oh, I think I do kind of remember this actually. Huh, that's cool. Let me get more artwork and stuff up there. The Trash Dude from Pigeonhold, 2006. Here's a whole bunch of little smaller puppets over here. And like I said, there's, it's cool. They have like little cards telling you what each one's from. This is kind of, looks like an assortment. Um, some of them from other countries, I mean, you can tell like this thing. Oh, this one's interesting. I get the tongue can actually be puppeteered. I don't know how well it's translating on camera there, but yeah, you can kind of see it sticks out there so they can wag it. <laughs> and then they also have like little clippets up on the wall that kind of um, says the, who the person is, where they're from, and stuff like that. And they have like little television demonstrations of it actually being used. And this is, are all these from the Hickory Hideout? Yes. Is this a show you ever watched? Uh, no. I was not familiar with this. It's 1981, so I was still pretty young. Hmm. This one's a little creepy looking. I feel like I've seen these before. Like, I don't think I've seen the show, but I, like, I've s seen them before, though. Maybe. What's this? Is this something for us to look at? Oh, it is. Like a little... Okay. NBC, all right. <laughs> These are some really large puppets. You can see the sticks that were used to control them. And these awful, awful animals. It's creepy. But also very cool. I assume it takes quite a bit of work to pilot one of these puppeteer. I guess puppeteer would be the right word since they're puppets, but... Hmm. Some South African puppets. Okay. They're called climbing figures. Let's 
interesting. This one's there. A little unsettling. It's a puppet from Molly? Is that, is that how you say that? <laughs> yes. Um, it's a water spirit. That's cool. You have a little quote or saying, I guess, under it. These ones are Indonesian puppets. The cords that run through the case can be used to control the puppet from behind. The small size may identify it as a training puppet. The figure into its case and can be easily transported from village to village via a small boat. Huh. Okay. So it can be transported from village to village via, so they, what? Will they like put it in a river and like send it to different villages? I'm confused by what that means, I guess. I don't know. That's cool. This one's pretty sweet looking. These ones over here are really cool. They are puppets from China. Well, I guess actually, this one says India. And this one's Taiwan. Oh, so it's a mixture of Taiwan and China. These ones are China. These ones are Taiwan. They're all kind of a similar art, though. This one's really, this one's really cool looking. Okay. The tiger thing. It's cool. It's like a... Like a monkey. Puppets are weird, I don't know. They're really cool, but like in a really like strange way. And then there's like a puppet dragon up here. You can see all of like the different cables and stuff that connect his pieces. Oh, he has a lot of faces. What is this? Shadow puppetry feature large scale puppets that are manipulated from behind a screen. Huh. Stone giant, which I'm not sure exactly how this one's controlled. It almost looks more like a suit. And then this one's called Mysterion. His face reminds me a little bit of, um, oh, the, the Count. Yeah. Yeah. From Sesame Street reminds me a little bit of that. We have some Punch and Judy puppets over here. These are what, these are basically like, they always used to like beat each other up with like little bats and stuff, didn't they? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. Kind of like what happened there. I know I've seen these before, but this is really cool though. a lot more here than I thought there was going to be. This alligator thing down here. A crocodile. Oh, sorry. And then the devilish gentleman. Well, and this one's a really cool puppet here from Italy, just called Paladin. This is the guy in a suit of armor puppet. That is really cool. Nice little sword there. That is neat. He's even got like a gut. Does he? Yeah. His little gut, she says. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does. That's fun. I have some more over here from France and Germany. And the Czech Republic. Okay with the smaller ones, it's the real big ones that tend to be really creepy looking. <laughs> oh well, I lied. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Try and get a zoom in on that face. There's a glare on the screen here. Ew. That is awful. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, some other um screen use stuff. It's just a dancer. This guy back here is from Eureka's Castle. And the one that I actually used to watch was from Between the Lions. The two parrots here are birds. Or pigeons, I'm sorry. Not parrots. They're 
pigeons. That's cool. And you can even see like the mechanism back there that was used to control them. If he's surprised, and we have some stuff like actually in the making. Back a little bit. Uh, or if he's a little resigned, maybe have a. And then we have the Beatles. Oh gosh, that's fun. I love it too because you can you can like go around and kind of see how kind of how they were controlled and stuff. Probably one of the freakier puppets is a, this giant Obama puppet. Dear Lord. This one's a really cool one over here. I believe it's Katrina. We call it very Day of the Dead. That's looking. Her little sidekick person here. Young, young Diego. His name. Uh, they also have a stage here. I, I don't know. Do they, do they have like a full on like big puppet show I assume out here as well then? They did. When this um, opened they had a bunch of shows and performers and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we don't see that. But there's one more look. The ceiling at this place is just really cool so, get a good shot of it it's really neat looking uh, but that's about all that's uh, down here at least well we made a way to the third floor which is the special collections and this I like this little entryway here it's a little gate and uh, I feel like I'm in, like Harry Potter or something right now see it even says Griswold right there Griswold isn't that something <laughs> <laughs> This building is beautiful though, so much marble. This is what John G. White's collection of chess, folklore, or and what is that? Orientalia? Orientalia. We're noticing his handwriting here. So tiny. It's a picture of the man right there. Yeah, look at that. God, that's so small. That's the most fascinating thing to me. <laughs> this is this guy's handwriting, that's insane. Well, this would be cool to have like a, it's like holographic displays, but Windows is being Windows, so we don't get to see it. God, I hate Windows. Um, like the original fairy tales, the grim fairy tales. Which, if you have not read, are very different than probably the fairy tales you're used to, the Disney washed ones. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit different. Um, but that's basically what this exhibition is. It's just on chess and like uh, chess checkers, just kind of like books and stuff like that. So you're on the top floor with a giant mosaic globe. What? There's all kinds of crap in there, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, Bigfoot? Did Kim find Bigfoot? I think so. I think Kim did find Bigfoot. If his face is that, I am terrified and hope Bigfoot is never found. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Ooh, that's frightening. Buffalo. There is a huge um, mural uh, underneath the library that connects the library and the tech center, which we're heading to now. And you can write before I die, and you just write before I die. I want to. This person wants to meet Richard Simmons. This guy wants to go to Disney World. This person they want to witness Bigfoot. Kim wants to travel the world. What do you want to do before you die? Mm -hmm. Building's really cool too, though. It's very like castle -like. And um, if you do happen to live in Cleveland, this place does uh, 3D printing. This is what, five cents per, what is it, gram of plastic? Yeah. I don't know if that's expensive or not, but um, 
yeah, I mean, if you live in Cleveland, this place does that, so that's actually pretty cool. We might take advantage of that service. Also, this person feels Jesus is here. Question mark? Yeah, that was the little, I don't know if you want to call it, the puppet exhibit yep. at um, the library. It's actually really cool. It's more than just a library. Obviously, you saw they have like exhibits. It's kind of like a museum across the library. We didn't show much in the second place because there wasn't too much in there to really show. Um, we went over there to check out the 3D printer, and that part was cool. Besides that, um, they had like a thing where you could like get old pictures and look at them and stuff, but it's nothing really like we could just like show or anything like that. But yeah, it's free to check out. Definitely, if you live in Cleveland or in the area, check out the puppet exhibit. It was uh, really cool. Yeah, I think I think it's here till November, so you got a while oh, okay. to check it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they, they probably will still be doing some shows here and there, but all right, that does it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.